this technology that Global Fishing Watch is developing is really transformative. And what's amazing to me is it's not some war room in New York City with 500 people tracking the Global Fishing Fleet. It's this distributed set of data scientists and engineers that are doing this stuff. We first committed to Global Fishing Watch back in 2014. And the idea behind that was the dedicated fisheries analyst was able to look at the track of a vessel and figure out what they were doing. Could we teach a computer to do the same thing? In the past, we needed analysts and experts to look at each image and each case of something happening. Now with AI, we can blanket the whole world with imagery. And it is so exciting to, to give the machine that information, have it run, and then come back and look at the map of the waters and see where the fishing is happening. As a researcher, it provides this immense repository of data and the ability to go back in time to observe behavior and what incentives affect that behavior. And that can have real serious policy implications. And then from a more practical point of view, I think this is gonna change the world. It changes the way that fishermen are gonna behave on the ocean. We're excited about this technology because we think that good information can help change policy. We think that if we provide information about what is actually happening in the world's fisheries, and this is information all sides can agree on and trust, that maybe they can reach an agreement on how to manage 